Now, this segment is specifically branded a not Bob Lee take, but be sure that this particular one was pre-approved by Bob. Okay, so here's the deal. Yesterday, Journalism and Media Studies School, the Pointer Institute, first published an article which was followed by Vanity Fair's similar version entitled, What the Media is Afraid to Say About Football, that included an interview with film director Rebecca Carpenter about her newly released documentary concerning her father, former Green Bay Packer Lou Carpenter's struggle with concussions and CTE. Okay, in the interview, Carpenter discusses what she believes is a sports media complicit in ignoring brain injuries in football, and then specifically mentions ESPN. Quote, I have heard that even at ESPN, reporters have a hard time getting management to approve truly in-depth stories about CTE. And she continues and says, it's hard to envision a media corporation that's making billions off a of sport also doing investigative reporting that exposes the catastrophic dangers of their cash cow. Hard to envision, you say. All right, let's make it visible. When the topic is concussions, injuries to the human brain, it is more important to understand what we do not know. You know, players used to say they got their bell rung. Now it's called concussion. Attitudes and awareness about concussions in football have rocketed from the relative dark ages to the latest research and technology. Football at a crossroads. The decision on when or even whether to allow a concussion victim to return can be critical. As a neurologist, what are your medical concerns if you're dealing with him today? Concussions, their impact, real and potential. Aaron Hernandez, at the age of 27, had stage three, and his attorney says it might actually have been stage four, CTE. Hmm, okay. Coverage on ESPN and outside the lines regarding the NFL and brain injury impact dating back over 20 years. And Bob tells me from his personal experience that our reporting is a point of civil but continuing friction between ESPN and the NFL. And in case there was further doubt, I wanted to pull something more recent. This is from last Thursday's episode of Outside the Lines. How did this and why did it become such a personal and important journey for you to make? Well, I think that I had spent so many years trying to understand him so that I could bridge the gap between us to get a post-mortem diagnosis of a brain disease that would explain so many things about him. Yep, that's the aforementioned Miss Carpenter right here on Outside the Lines, on this network, on ESPN, last Thursday. In the last few hours, Ms. Carpenter has offered her apology to ESPN and Outside the Lines for her statements.